Hello, my name is Michael Guarino. I'm the founder and CTO of Plural. Today we'll be looking at deploying Airflow using Plural. Airflow is an app for authoring, scheduling, and monitoring data pipelines. Airflow is popular with data engineering teams, but has historically been a real bear to manage. And so it's a really good example of how Plural simplifies and streamlines the open source ecosystem. So in Plural, Airflow is paired with our admin console, providing built-in observability and performing dependency aware upgrades. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do to install an application on Plural is log in, which I will do with my demo user right here. Once you've logged in, you'll be at our homepage, which allows you to browse through all the applications that are on Plural currently. Since we're installing Airflow, we're going to go straight to the Airflow application, which will present you with installation bundles, which you can choose to install Airflow for a target cloud. For this demo, we're going to actually install it on AWS, so I'm going to choose to use that bundle. Once installed in the Plural API, you can then use the bundle install command to do the actual work of installing the application in your Git repo. It's also going to be very useful to set up your admin console as well, and it just uses the same tool set. So install it, grab that bundle install command, go back to your installation repo and run it again. Cool. Now that we have the initial configuration set up, we can run plural build to set up the state of your applications. So it's worth peeking into what exactly happened there after running plural build. So if you go to the Airflow application under its folder, you should be able to see both Helm charts and Terraform modules that have been created in this repository. And you should be able to see, for instance, the values have been created for you. Also, if you go into the Terraform modules, it's all been laid out as you would expect, including a module for the provisioning of the AWS resources needed for Airflow. That's going to include things like IAM policies and S3 buckets. And that's the majority of what the build demand will be doing. Cool. Now we're going to actually run Plural Deploy to take all the artifacts that have been created into your repo and provision the cloud infrastructure and ultimately the Kubernetes resources that are needed to make this application work. It's running a Terraform init, and eventually it'll run the Terraform apply to create all the underlying cloud resources. Part of this provisioning process, it'll create an EKS cluster and the underlying worker nodes for that cluster. This will take 10 minutes for the cluster itself and 10 minutes for the worker nodes, but fortunately it's entirely hands off. So you can just sit back, have a coffee um, and let it go. One nice thing about Plural is you can actually use it as an identity provider for all Plural applications. So you can seamlessly create an OIDC provider, in this case for the console, bind users or groups to this provider to ensure that only they can log in then configure it. This will send a upgrade into the cluster for you to do the setup. So it should be entirely hands off, which we can watch now. Cool. So now if we log out, you will see that it's actually using plural to log in. It wants me to click on the login link, then authorize and you're in. So that's OIDC for console on the Airflow application. I'm just going to configure its OIDC provider going to bind some users again. Um, again, there's going to be an automatic upgrade to do the OAuth configuration. And it looks like it finished. So we're at the Airflow login screen, and you can see the option to use one of the identity providers. I'm just going to sign in right here. It's going to navigate me to the login screen on Plural. It asked me to authorize access to Airflow. And boom, we're in Airflow using Plural as the OIDC provider. And you can see the tutorial demo running right here, and everything is set up and ready to go. Yeah. Cool. Let's talk about how Plural simplifies installation and automates upgrades. The solution Plural has adopted is to create a cross-tool dependency graph. Diving into the Airflow application, you can see packages for Helm charts, Terraform modules, and even Docker images. Further into a Helm chart, you can see its dependency information and how it requires both these dependent Helm charts and also Terraform modules. This is useful for installation since the API can know that you'll need these Terraform modules to properly install the Airflow Helm chart itself. But it's even more important for upgrades. 
it's likely that a new version of the Airflow chart itself will require different cloud resources than a previous one. The Plural API will detect that and defer the chart upgrade until you've caught up. Then it can deliver that final Helm chart upgrade, guaranteeing a successful install. This provides you with an automated upgrade mechanism that you can trust to work reliably. What we're going to do now is simulate what would happen if a new version of Airflow were pushed and how an automated upgrade will be delivered into your cluster. So we're going to push it to 1.62 right here. And you should be able to see that come in. Now you can see the commands update in real time. And you can see now that update has finished and it pushed the changes to Git and we're ready to go. So now that everything has been configured and the console is up and running, we can log in. It's going to send me through the OIDC flow and ask me to authorize access to the console. And here we are on the home page. The first thing you'll be greeted with is a feed of all the builds that have happened based on various changes to the state of your installation. So there was a new version of Airflow that was published and the changes for OIDC configuration are also here. And you can see the actual commands that were executed and a change log of everything that actually was involved in deploying that specific build. There is a Kubernetes component viewer as well if you wanted to dive deeper into the actual underlying resources for that application. You can even get low-level information for each individual resource. Um, another very interesting thing is we'll provide dashboards for each of the applications with metrics tailored to understanding the health of that application specifically. So you can see this dashboard for Airflow, which will have things like Airflow DAG processing times. We will also provide log aggregation for all of our applications as well. And you can actually get access to those on the component viewer too. There will be a little logs link and you can see the logs for that specific component. And then finally, there's an incident response portal baked into the console application where you can create a support ticket with the support team responsible for the application and get real-time feedback to resolve any bugs. So diving in, the experience is going to be a very Slack-like real-time chat experience. You can do things like create Zoom meetings, Upload files. Whoa, not that many. And do anything else related to the life cycle of support to make sure that your asset is resolved as smoothly and soundly as possible. Boom, and that's the airflow managed by Plural. We looked at using the Plural build and Plural deploy commands to automate configuration and installation, the automated upgrade process on new version pushes, Plural's application tailored observability tools, Plural's real time support channel. And finally, using Plural as a way to automate user management for applications built on Plural using OpenID Connect. We look forward to discussing how Plural can work for you, your organization, your applications. Thanks.